to help kind of restore it and stuff. So oh, wow, we're we're pretty excited about that too. Yes, so. that That's is super a, cool. We're all for the good causes. Yeah. So you guys just see yourself doing this for the foreseeable future? No, definitely. I, I know awesome. I am, and I, I'm pretty sure he feels the same way. So oh, you guys seem pretty dedicated to it. Let me ask you: Are, are you, do you guys hope in the future to kind of get out of your area, maybe travel around and do this? Yeah, well, that's well, we definitely want to get out of Tennessee. I mean, now, there's a lot the moment, there. <laughs> yeah, some of these places we were going to want to go to is pretty far away, so it's something that we'd eventually obviously have to save up for and mm-hmm. all that fun stuff. But we've talked about going, you know, to some places in Kentucky and and Alabama, North Carolina. That's not so far away. Um, so we've got a few places we're looking into. Um, there's a couple of spots in Ohio. That's not that too far from us so okay like yeah nice we've got a bucket list oh yeah well we good all do. <laughs> <laughs> we all do yes man I, i'd love to get out to some of these places but did you have you guys ever thought about maybe starting up like a i don't know like a like a patreon do you guys have like a patreon or something to help kind of fund the trips we do not no. I don't even know how to go about starting one of those things. It's pretty, it's actually pretty <laughs> easy. But I was just trying to come up with ideas. But um, yeah, so I guess this is about the end. I think we've run through all the questions I, know, I can I think, think of. So too. <laughs> but we're really, we were really excited to do this, and and I'm happy that you reached out because we've been wanting to get people to come on. Because the whole idea behind this podcast is we do talk a lot about like haunted locations and like YouTube channels and TV shows. Mm-hmm. But the main idea behind it is to kind of spotlight the people who are doing real investigations because there's so many people out there doing stage stuff and trying to... For entertainment purposes purposes only. But trying to sell it to everybody as an actual experience when it's not. So we want to have everybody who wants to come on, who's out there doing the real thing, to come on because I I think all the people who are making all this money for... For nothing, really. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak my mind. They're just not really it. doing anything. Yeah. I'd rather it go to people like you who will travel around, who will go to people's homes, who will go look for the real stuff because that's the that's the basis of this of this love of this is we want to know what's out there. We want to know if it's real. We want all the we want all the evidence we can get. So mm-hmm. I really hope the best for you guys. You guys seem like awesome people. You 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 definitely Thank have you. your heart in it. And we hope to see you guys grow exponentially over the next few years. It'd be really cool to see you guys really get around. No, we appreciate that. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, keep up and keep watching. (laughs) For sure. For sure. But it was nice to meet you guys, and uh, I'll send you the link when this episode comes out. You can listen to it. All right, sounds good. All right, guys. You have uh, a great night, and it was was awesome to meet you. Thanks for coming in, guys. guys. Thank you. See you all. All right, so RKB Paranormal, great yes. guy. Those are super nice guys. Super nice. And I think we're going to do things like a little weird on this episode because we normally start with a story. Yes. I'm going to see if I can cue it in while we're actually on it. I don't know if I can, to be honest. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Well, that was a really, really great interview. It I was. thoroughly enjoyed that. The last one we did was fantastic as well and i really really hope that in the future we are able to do more uh interviews and if anybody out there you know knows anybody or anything like that i just just reach out to them send them to them if you're one of them just reach out to us we would love to have you on and tell your stories and we definitely want to have more people come on because i like doing these i mean look you're out there you're trying to make this happen. Get yourself some extra exposure. Come on and talk to us. I mean, we don't have like a million people, but I mean, it's okay. Yes, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> a million. <laughs> All right. We'll check it out. Right now, we're going to go ahead and hear from our friend, Ms. Julie, over on Twitter before we end this thing. Because she told us a great story while we were in our our Wednesday Twitter space, Paranormal Oddities. Yes, and we're going to let her did. tell it herself. So, take it away, Julie. Oh, which is a very old place um, in this country. And the row house or townhouse that I lived in, I'm not quite sure when it was built, but it, it, 
the age of the place doesn't really matter anyway because usually it's the land that has holds the the spirit. So anyway, uh, it was a Friday night and my roommate had gone out um, and I didn't go with her. I just stayed at home to read and uh, I fell asleep and woke up about two o'clock in the morning and I had rolled over and there was a woman standing in the corner of my room and I thought, oh, this is somebody that Sherry brought home with her. Um, so I kind of blearily said to the woman, oh, if you're looking for Sherry's room, you know, I'm half asleep. If you're looking for Sherry's room, just go out back out the door and past the bathroom and it's the door straight ahead. And this woman just kept standing there. Her arms were very still by her side. I could see her, um, the moonlight was coming through the window in such a way that I could see she was blonde. She had very straight blonde hair, about breast length, um, and kind of a shapeless yellow dress on. And the way that the light was coming in, her face was in shadow, so I couldn't see her face, and I'm thinking to myself, well, you dumbass, I just told you Sherry's room is down the way, and she just was standing there, and it suddenly dawned on me that she was not um, in this, on this plane, and I freaked out and rolled over to turn my light on and course turned around and she was gone so that was crazy super crazy story she's always got good ones. she says she's got more so hopefully she'll write them in but yeah that would be awesome thank you yeah. so much miss julie yes we'll sure we'll talk to you on another one well i will you probably yes. won't but i will i don't get in the spaces <laughs> that much on wednesdays because i work nights yes. but every, you know every wednesday big eh, give or take i missed last week i wasn't i was having a rough week but uh wednesday is 5 30 eastern or 5 is it five? It's five Eastern time. You can catch us on Twitter. We call the space Paranormal Oddities. Uh, it's a space that we do with a good friend of ours, Rick from Maximum Oddities, who yes. does an amazing show. If you're listening to this, you definitely should be listening to yes. that. Yes, go check uh, him out. I listen to it. You should listen to it. It's a great <laughs> show. We love Rick. But where can they find us? They can find us on Instagram at for the booze underscore podcast and on Facebook at for the booze. <gasps> So many for the booze. And over there on the twits, the Twitters. The tweets. That's who you get to talk to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just for the booze. Yeah, yeah. Pretty pretty easy. And like we said, if you have a group and you want to come on, if you have a paranormal story that you want us to hear that you'd like to have read, you can record your silky voice and send it in. Or you can type it out and you can have my crappy voice say it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you send it all over to uh, for the booze 12 at gmail.com. And suggestions, too. If you have yes. a place that you would like to bestow hours and hours of research to listen to, we would love to have it because we're always looking for suggestions. We don't always just want to cover the stuff that's already been covered to death. We want yes. small places, too. Absolutely. And if, I mean, you guys know of one, we would... I, I, I love the idea of it coming from a listener. Heck, heck you know, yeah. like I just, I don't know. I mean, we've had a few. We've had a few that we we've have. done for listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, send them all in. But you know, we love you guys. And don't forget, you can find us on Good Pods. You can crank us up the ratings in there if you check us out and five star it. It doesn't matter, honestly. <laughs> it's well, more for my ego. <laughs> thank you, everybody, so much for listening. We appreciate you guys. And we will... See you in the next one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.